Final Fantasy XIV is the game's second life with MMORPG elements. Now I'm the type of person who's always been drawn to cesspools of degeneracy. I had a ton of fun with WoW Classic, but in my opinion the endgame is actually very boring. Besides, I just don't think it's fun to play this type of game on your own. So, I decided to join my friends on Chaos Omega. You see, IRL is kinda mid, so I had to go digital. Hi honey, where you going? <laughs> Square Enix provide a very simple installation process. Yeah, you've got to activate, you've got to activate your code. John, you haven't hit the Mog Station mix-up yet. Like, is that do you the, think I was making that Is that, that the first mini-boss? <laughs> mini-boss? Mate. It's no. the first raid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Ooh, that was, that was like, perfect. perfect. And with the Mog Station mix-up out the way, it's time for the birth of a legend. Eorzea has eight playable races. Ordinary human, incredibly tall elves, tiny person, cat people, enormous muscular brute, dragonkin, burly lion man, and sexy bunny people. I'm more scaly leaning than furry, so I went with Aura, a race balanced between two dualistic clans, one that live a peaceful life of tranquility, and the one I picked, who bloody the land with endless tribal conflict. Here's how easy the decision was. Yeah, that top one will do the cooking and the cleaning, the bottom one will ram it up your sh <laughs> <laughs> It has been decided. <laughs> I meticulously manifest my inner self and carefully move each slider to craft perfection. Yeah, girth make that on thick. It. Yeah, you want some girth on that for sure. Bob, let's tell Bob. <laughs> Over a, what we'll call a relative period of time, I finally reach a character that I can be proud of. This is how I feel on the inside. In game, on top. It was the 11th son of the 5th astral moon. <laughs> After picking our birthday, it was time to choose a god. This is however pure RP, so I went with Ralgar, breaker of worlds, the god of destruction, which is completely in line with the energy of our protagonist. Now this is a crucial moment where there's a bunch of classes and I'm not even going to describe them to you. I picked the one that punches. Name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan was taken, so I had to think deep. I went primordial. I went with my instincts. This is our hero, Melanie Felony. Oh, shit. Here. Here. Feel. For the intro cinematic, I'm going to try to unpack a little bit of the lore here, okay? Now, <clears throat> in the center of the planet, there's a woman, who, uh, a goddess named Hydaelyn, right? And basically, in the world of Final Fantasy XIV, when you die, your ether, which is all of the elements that comprise your very being, they return to the center of the planet so you can get reborn. You're, I'm physically manifesting into the world here because we're actually back in time because the whole world blew up and we got to... And there's also the guy with the mask. Okay, whatever, just... I wake up in the intro to Skyrim. Here I discover my terrible fate. Created really the effects of the ether, I reckon. At this point, most of the cutscenes are, uh... Have no audio. Uh... I wouldn't have liked to think about that before the authorities pull us over and threaten to escalate their opinions physically. On a legal level, I knew we were in trouble when they found the bag of prohibited herbs. Shit. I just wanted to boof Rootbarg in a furry nightclub. Now I'm staring down the barrel of the metaphorical Remington shotgun that is the death penalty. But then some big burly guys exude a bit of vigilante justice and our caravan elude its worrying social situation. What?
Deep in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance, her name, Ulda. As the twin faces of Nald Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. Boy, adventure over here. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. This humble merchant taught me two equally important things. How to control my character and how to skip cutscene. Going forward, these two nuggets of wisdom work brilliantly in tandem. Like yin and yang, or PewDiePie and gay kiss. He also sent me on my very first quest. The beginning of an entire saga of grueling tasks known as the Realm Reborn main story questline. Which spans from about level 1 to 50. I'll be referring to it as MSQ, or alternatively, HELL. Yet at the time, I had absolutely no idea what I was actually getting myself into. I was a pure, innocent soul yet to be corrupted by the world of Eorzea. Blissfully unaware, just exploring Ulda, appreciating the culture. Children rule the city, there's mercy killings on the street, and mostly everyone appears to have a strong affinity for dancing cat girls. Nice. I wouldn't slobber over the cat girls for too long though before deciding to undertake my pugilist class quest to unlock more abilities. Yet I managed to slay us nay a single enemy before being brutally interrupted by an old acquaintance. Get in, Whoa. bitch. Is that you? Damn, you could you rolled up on me. <laughs> Am yeah, I in? I'll do it. Yeah, you just drive really slowly. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I wanna get in. I'm gonna take you to a high level area and get you killed. I actually can't leave the car. Is there a button? Like, listen, I gotta stand. I gotta stand on the seat to see over the dashboard. So, you know, you're not with the safest <laughs> of drivers. <laughs> Is your guy actually standing up? <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck are you doing the pedals? Um. Well, you see, the thing is, if that car crashes, the the one in the front goes flying. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, now I'm out. You can attune to this crystal if you want. Click the rock. Always click the rock. And that that's means a, you can spend the money point. to TP the... Cool. My questionable driver agrees to end the circumstantial hostage situation in good faith and return me to Ulda. Here, I kill a good many animals with my bare hands, and then it dawns on me that I definitely picked the right class. Marmot wants to scrap, hit him with a pow, pow, pow! With my newfound fists of fury, I return to Hammond and complete my pugilist guild initiation. This is where things get a bit dicey, because immediately thereafter, including a couple steps, I, as in the main protagonist, am about to experience my first integral voice segment of the main story. Admittedly, I didn't read the quest, but I am exceptional at mindlessly following directions. When arriving upon the scene, here's what I experienced. Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. Uh, the whole game is like this, bro. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. Or so I thought which at the time led me to arrive at a decisive conclusion. There's no way I'm showing you every cutscene. At that point, you can just play the game yourself. No, instead, I'll give you my perspective. Here's how I perceived the story, based on when I started paying attention. Do you know level 45? That's exactly when I started paying attention. Spoiler alert, I guess. Enterprise. <laughs> this is the big moment. We're finally taking off in Sid's airship. He's this savage fellow who I met in a monastery. Along with some teenagers, I'm helping him reclaim his former self. It is at this point that he has sort of an intergalactic seizure.
In a flashback, it's revealed that Gaius, the main villain who currently is ushering in a violent jihad upon Eorzea, is also Sid's father. More importantly, in the future we evidently become infinite. <laughs> yes. Unbound by the rules of nature, we traverse through space-time, ultimately, to deliver this man his goggles. At this point, I said to myself, uh, wh what the fuck? I dug deep within my subconscious mind to piece together how I ended up in this situation. I vaguely remembered that on multiple occasions, we have been floating in interdimensional space with god energies collecting crystals, and I fuck with that on a personal level, but I had to know more. I had to traverse the innermost sanctums of my mind palace to retrieve enough memories for the main story to coherently make sense. I thought back to the very beginning. I started noticing that I'm the hero always finding myself in a situation involving some type of peril or evil that I am to vanquish. It's pretty much you're the good guy, hit the bad guy every single time. The actual gameplay mechanics are at this level of progression, at best a modernized vibrant cookie clicker. But because we're playing through 10 year old content, there's no other option than to just slug through that gamer grind. Doing so may lead you to experience a defining element of the Final Fantasy gaming experience, what the community wholeheartedly refer to as MSQ Burnout. Now, I'm not saying that I don't enjoy clicking a quest marker 80 times in a row, but what I am saying is that choosing an MMO to play is a bit like having a wank. There's people who actually download pornography into a folder. That's weak behavior. Then. There's the enlightened ones, who know what artist they're currently in the mood for. That's based and epic. My friends kept telling me over and over again that you just gotta get through the main story. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. However, that can get a bit stale. You see, there's this bitch in the Waking Sands named Menphilia, who's been sending me on this never-ending series of meaningless, futile tasks. Why must I keep delivering letters? You have phones! Ryder, this is Raging Bull. What news? I've wished upon her death many times. Yes, and my prayers fall deaf as the MSQ continues to let me down time and time again. One thing I find is that consistently, Final Fantasy XIV is mid, so you stop playing. And that's when the real game begins. Oh yeah, that goes hard. That goes hard. <laughs> 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 I just let me like that. I just let her like this. Bop, right on the boob. Hey, fuck you. Bop. Please stop <laughs> touching me. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Gameplay. No. Oh, I'm at the Cactuar statue. Ah! Choco Ben Lolo Cabo. I still want to know what Arya named her. She's just chuckling. <laughs> League of Legends. <laughs> As a scholar, and I'm about to finish my degree, I can read to you from Janeway's Immunobiology, uh, seventh edition. Immunology is the study of the body's defense against infection. We live surrounded by microorganisms, many of which cause the boop, 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 boop. Limit break! <laughs> Don't limit break a single time! Oh, time destroyed! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I'm gonna full oh. aggro. Healers adjust? Oh, wait, have I even got my carrier? <laughs> no, I fucking don't. That explains a lot. <laughs> oh my god. 
I go. Oh. Oh, no. oh no. Wait, let's adjust. What the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, John. John. What? What? You've got it. <gasps> no. This is my special move. Okay. Hold up now. I, w I go through walls. I'd ah. love to see some of your special. What the fuck, John? <laughs> right? This is my thing. John, I'm just. You can't be going in the. Oh, no, come I'm just on, a unique please. dragon girl doing my thing. I just go through walls John. and shit. She can't hear us in here. Yes, team. Oh, yes. <laughs> I didn't even know that was in the game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh fuck, she's right behind me. No fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We just summoned Darnell, let's go talk shit. Call them a loser. Hey, loser. I don't know, they nailed that, to be honest. What the fuck? That's not a loser. Okay, I'm never sorry. mind, they got a fucking dragon. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV is basically like pretending to play an MMO with your friends. If you treat it as a social dress-up sandbox with clicky buttons, it's actually pretty damn good. Me and my friends were around the same level, so we decided to dive into a bit of group progression. Right, where to? Uh, you're not gonna believe this. Where we just were. Um. <laughs> yeah. However. At this point, getting boosted was actually the slowest form of progression, since my new driver insisted on GTA San Andreas RP crypt driving between every destination. Wait, so if Yo! <laughs> Adam in the car. Hey, hey. Alright, let's go. Hi. This is, this is a suburban district. So. The fact that he refuses to fly, he's just slowly driving <laughs> yeah, into a wall, by the way. It's like, like Adam, the speed limit. <laughs> uh, more to the right, Adam. We're not enough to the right here. Yeah, I don't really know. Oh, oh God. I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't go off-road in this thing. Look how low, look how much of a lot of it is. It's going to wreck up. It's going to wreck the fucking oh, How far scary. are we going to take the LARP? Okay, well, we have to go right. So. Well, we Maybe could you, could you, is there any way you could take this vehicle above the ground to the right? Uh, oh, traffic's wait, awful wait. today, isn't it? If only we could fly. I'm getting car sick. Wait, one sec, I'm, I'm looking around the dashboard. I'm gonna vomit. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! Whoa! Oh shit! Whoa. Okay, which way are we going? Such is life with solo male in the driver's seat. You take the scenic route, deny some women their carnal impulses, and before I knew it, I found myself playing the actual obligatory game again. Ah, it wasn't even on purpose, I swear. In what seemed to me like a momentary stroke of a fever dream, I somehow managed to bust out like 20 levels, get my chocobo, ascertain the intentions of the youth, acquire the wedding panty look of my dreams, carefully pay attention to the main story. I'm gonna skip cuts in here. I met a German woman. I am Melve Blufisvin. Take my very first airship and ecstatically thrive in pure pleasure. Life is perfect. This game is the predator of MMORPGs. It lulls you in with pretty colors, joyful happenings and fun times, only to then sink its teeth in as it pushes the unknowing player past the point of no return and into the dungeons. The second it's up. Oh. The second oh, yeah. it's up. Limit yeah. break! Wait. Yeah, I was just seeing if you will. 
my very first time ever experiencing a Final Fantasy XIV dungeon. And let me tell you, it's just standing and hitting. Cringe! That's all it is. It's like World of Warcraft. Cringe. 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 Cringe gameplay. Cringe. Ah, just kidding. It's not really this way. Oh. This is a side. This is what's called a side room. Incredible game design. This is what's called oh engaging. God. The world building. They had a side room. Listen, I know it seems miserable now, but this game gets so much better, and because it gapes, gate keeps you from the good content early, when you get to the good content, it feels even better. Hope them. It is just. Agro, agro, agro. Give agro Alpha, to me. Alpha. 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 Limit break. Limit break. Limit break. Limit break. Limit break. I'm limit breaking. No. Oh. <laughs> Boom, let's go, let's fucking go. <laughs> Torn! Yeah, or oh, press the wrong button, just give me another bop, five minutes, I'll sort it out. Bop. Many whelps, left side, handle it. Bop. Boss. Yes! Magic stick to you. There's something on it! Guys, limit break not up yet, do more damage, do more DPS. Please do not pull the boss, I'm a bit nervous about that. Oh, oh this is the big well. pull. Yeah, we got the big one here, this is the big fight. Big heals here, so big heal. You pulled the boss. Is that the boss? Shit. I don't know, it looks like a boss. Alright, I'll, I'll heal, I'll heal. I'll, I'll stun the boss. I believe this to be... Kill ads first, kill ads this first. Might, this might be a little bit out of my comfort zone. Heal me, 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 Tank the boss, tank the boss, tank the boss. I'm tanking, I'm tanking, I'm tanking, I'm tanking. You're not tanking, I'm tanking. I'm tanking. If you were tanking, my health would be going down. Well, I'm dead. We gotta need a combat res on the healer. Kill ads first. Kill ads. I'll guide the ad. Oh, um, KO. I, 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 I need heals on me from the healer instead. Everyone's dead. It's true. To be honest, I think I'm more of like into the S Sophie Arya aspect of this game. The the questing, like the actual game, playing the game is like kind of mid. What, you just like... want to play an MMO with women? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> <That's better. laughs> no, yeah, I just want to customize my character. Like I want to find different color panties. I want to like find different hair colors and stuff. <laughs> John's finding out he's trans. What, in game? In game. Oh, ja. So you might be wondering, what is even actually fucking happening at all? And yeah, this is Limza Laminza. Categorically, I don't really know how this town fits into the story. All I know is this, this is where the debauchery is at. The degenerate central command hub. Here, I found a form of social interaction so emote based, it felt like learning a whole new language. I also uncovered that in this world, speaking it is the true barrier of entry. Either you're a normie and you think this shit is weird, or it awakens something carnal within you. I spoke degenerate fluently by nature. For you see, coded deep within my DNA is the catalyzer of a sequence of actions that ensures very few steps between me understanding a culture and taking, taking over, over their, their entire, entire world. world. Meet Jaina Catherine. His name is Pierre, he's my future wife. The little sapling isn't even gone from my name, yet I'm already one of them. I will, however, say, submissively maneuvering my way to essentially wifing up a middle-aged man with presumably high blood pressure and a smelly t-shirt was definitely limit-testing my capacity for ERP at the time. So, I chose the lesser of two evils and continued progressing the main story questline. Let me take you through it all. Minfilia, bitch, sends me on a daring adventure. I am to enter a forest and dance with fairies. I'm far from humanity's fairest diplomat, but in this moment, I am our greatest dancer. I gracefully ally with the forest people and earn their trust. Why do I need it? Obviously, because there are bad guys in space trying to employ Ultima, Ultima weapon. weapon. A biotechnological anti-primal war machine, which begs the question, what the hell is a primal? Well, they're phantom spirits, each worshipped by their own beast race. Think of them as the furry gods of the Final Fantasy universe, and think of destroying them as very, very racist. 
unless you're the main protagonist, in which case it could circumstantially be a downright necessity. But I digress. The Black Shroud, home to the Sylphs, is abruptly invaded by Garlean soldiers. In case you lost track, they're the Space Nazis, who almost managed to capture the Sylph Elder Frixio. He barely escaped into a deep, dangerous cave. It was finally time for a real dungeon. I gathered my companions and we began our siege on the Thousand Maws of Todorak. Here's what I had to say at level 27, over 30 hours into my journey. Is there any way to tap target? Because right yeah, clicking. Yeah, you can, you press tap. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Fucking moron. <laughs> No fucking way. <laughs> I've never heard John IQ hit that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, man. It's, I don't believe it. I'm actually in awe right now. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, I am here and I am ah. healing. Look, you're doing so good. Ah. Ah! You okay? Ah! Sorry, I just have an AOE ability, so. Ah! God, I wish that was me. Ah. I implore you to marvel in awe at this glorious moment in time. This is where the gameplay superseded standing and hitting. Yes, this is not a drill. We are, in fact, pulling aggro whilst running and smashing. Absolutely breathtaking gameplay. As our heroes approached the boss room, I stood before my first truly difficult boss fight. I was actually quite excited to edit this final sequence of the video, but fate would come to intervene for what is a story without some dire conflict along the way. Ah, yes! Ah, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love it! What the fuck? Whoa! Okay, don't send, whatever. What the fuck? What is happening to my computer? What the fuck? Okay. Hold it for. Control delete. Yeah, task manager, can I? Task manager. No, my entire computer's just busted now. In the weeks prior, my PC had started acting up. Possibly because he's a naughty boy, but probably because I built it 10 years ago and physical reality is prone to entropy. Hello? I didn't think much of it until one day, the unthinkable happened. No boot sequence. On the surface, I appeared to be witnessing the death of the duck machine. And along with it, this entire video series, the armchair tech support from my inept Discord server were convinced that my motherboard finally bit the bullet. It could also be that not reapplying thermal paste on my CPU had over a decade, in fact, turned it into thermal concrete. I will also openly admit that my system may have had a little bit of dust inside. I checked all the cables to make sure the mouse that coexists in my apartment wasn't to blame, but Deep down, I knew he was friendly and wouldn't mess with my stuff. Just look at him eating that M&M. He's a tranquil little fella. He wouldn't hurt any cables. I kept systematically testing each part to find that they work as they should. But there was one thing I didn't consider. If you've seen my WoW Classic series, you'd know that three years ago, I fixed my computer by installing a CMOS battery I found on the ground. I should nay have sought assistance from the unemployed low IQs, nor Google, who both told me that a faulty CMOS won't prevent a boot sequence. When a Danish tech genius on Twitter told me otherwise, I finally listened to reason. It was time for my favorite part, using power tools on my motherboard.
truth. Please. <sighs> okay. This is how I normally boot, so that's just... That's dope. These are my BIOS settings. I don't have any. Fuck them. You don't need them. Having avoided the death of my computer, I was finally able to finish my video. I proudly present you with an absolutely insane boss fight. I am Laha Brea of the Asians, servant to the one true God. Yours is a most fantastic. You guys just beat the boss while I'm. Did you guys just beat the guy while I'm in the cutscene? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you were in a cutscene. Sorry, we were actually I didn't realize. <laughs>